do tower do tower Don't leave us. He left us. Hopefully he looks back. Look back. Look back. Look back. <laughs> oh, he looked back. Okay, he knows we're not coming yet. <laughs> Hurry up, David. <laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? Me and a few buddies are going to go on a cruise today, and since, uh, since Stitch is down, um, gonna take out dad's bike it is a uh, 2011 Harley fat boy and uh, this is my first time riding it. it's my second time riding it so we're gonna actually do like a good long ride today so I can get a good review in on it and we got a uh, got my buddy behind me on uh, his CBR 1k and then we got a buddy up ahead on his little uh, Honda CRF uh, 250 we gotta all get gas though, so. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot my wallet. Uh -huh. Yeah. I, got you. I just need like two bucks. I don't have cash though. Huh? I don't have cash though. Oh, well, we can just use the card. It's only gonna take like two bucks though. Hey, you can just fill it up if you want. Fuck. Did you forget what I was gonna say? You forget yours too? We're going back to the house real quick. Thanks. Back on the road. <clears throat> now what's interesting about this uh, Harley, why well, it's really all Harleys that are like this, it has this, uh, it has this uh, like two, two peg shifter so you don't mess up your foot when you're shifting up. So you use your heel to shift up and use the bottom of your foot to shift down. Kind of interesting. Uh, another thing about this bike though is since I'm not like a, a cruiser rider or a Harley rider or however you want to say it, I'm used to being like leaned over like this and so um, you know I'm used to I'm used to my legs and my arms supporting my back. Well I noticed that uh, throughout the course of the ride that I will uh, start to hunch over so like now it's already happening I'll like uh, I'll try to sit uh, more upright and eventually I'll just start to slouch and not even realize it my back will start to hurt but I'm not uh, I'm not used to it so but it's still a comfortable ride it's still well it's a, I don't know I can't say it cuts through the wind because today is like extremely windy this is one of the windiest days I've ever ridden on but uh, it's cutting through the wind pretty nice even though even even though it's like super windy I just hope that the uh, the wind doesn't uh, affect the quality of the video too much I would be pretty upset if it does this thing vibrates too Sam behind us. I used to have mirrors as well. I have a mirror on my bike. Oh, he's gone. We're just gonna let him have fun. This is a nice road. This is a fucking beautiful spot for pictures. I don't know about y'all. This will be another good section of the video too to show how it handles on twisties. 
And I mean Harleys and you know cruisers and stuff don't handle too bad on twisties, especially since we're not going that fast. But you know it's good to it's good to know how it manages, especially a Harley this big. It's a blind turn. These turns, if I was on my bike, I'd be ripping it right now. Alright, I'm gonna hit it. God damn! This thing goes! I haven't hit it in so long. Uh. <laughs> that was a fucking ninja grab. Um, I want to go ahead and sum up the video here. So, what do I think a sport bike rider on a Harley? Well, I'm open minded, so I fucking love it. I love all bikes. I'm pretty sure if my buddy Sam right there let me get on that 250, I'd be fucking ripping it like a Philly dude. And so, you know, I'm open to all bikes. And, you know, this is obviously a cruiser, you know, but it's huge. It's meant for highways, meant for open roads like this. So, but it, uh, the one problem I do have on it is that I, I'm just not used to it. And this is more of a personal thing. I'm just not used to it. So, like I said earlier in the video, I slouch when I ride. So I'm trying to see what's a, I'm trying to get used to keeping my keeping myself upright. You can tell I'm moving. So <laughs> yeah, I'm not used to it on my bike or, you know, David's bike behind me. Uh, I'm used to it. You know, I'm used to having my arms and my legs hold me. This, you're gonna have to hold yourself more than anything. So, but that's my only gripe with it. It's uh, well, like I said, it's a fat boy, so it's got, it's got some it's got some power. I don't know the horsepower. I'll probably throw in the the specs of it here in a minute uh, through editing magic. But uh, yeah, as, you know, as a lot of people know, Harley don't release horsepower numbers; they release uh, only torque numbers. So, but uh, this thing goes, man. It's a uh, it's fun to rip. But yeah, like. This is this is why it's good. This bike, it's this bike specifically, or any you know big cruiser is good for long highway rides because of how heavy it is. I, I need to again. I'm not too sure how heavy it is. I know it's probably more than likely double what David's is, and David's is an older super sport, and those are heavy as hell as well. But um, yeah, you know it's it's pretty flickable. You know, in the turns and everything, it was fun. though you can't you can't really you know obviously it being a harley you know you can't or just a cruiser in general you can't rip it like you know sam can on his dirt bike or david can on his uh on his super sport but you know you can still have some fun with it in the twisties but you know you get a cruiser to cruise you don't get a cruiser to 
go fast or you know hit the twisties hard you know you get it just to have a good day on it or you know hell you can even come from you know if it comes to it you can even commute on this i wouldn't mind commuting on a harley especially this one that'd be pretty fun sitting riding though um and uh, when i say commuting i mean like highway commuting not just from like in town commuting in town commuting i'd rather have a bike like like sam's you know a smaller one but I've never, I've never taken this directly in the city, so I'm not too, too sure how it is. But uh, hopefully one day, you know, I'll get to. And I can uh, really feel how it is to ride it in the city. Um, all right, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Uh, appreciate y'all staying all the way to the end. If uh, if you enjoy, uh, you know, moto vlogs like this, bike reviews like this, stunt videos, bike builds, hell, I even do, you know, uh, reviews from time to time on anything else, really. So, um, yeah, if you enjoy all of that kind of content, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed so you can uh, keep up with uh, me and my videos. But other than that, again, appreciate y'all sticking around. Y'all have a beautiful day.